when I was younger. I used to always want to be Cinderella. And then bad stuff kind of started happening. I went to foster care. I lost track of the fairy tale for me. I was going through my own depressions. And then I started having health problems. I used to have really bad migraines. So I used to have to always go to the doctor. Once I found out that the door was having the EMT program for free, I jumped on it because I want to do something that matters. I want to help somebody. I want to make somebody not feel the way that I feel. It's the doorway for me to get into the medical field, to start helping patients. And then in the process of helping them, I can also put a smile on their face. Any moment where I can make a difference in somebody's life is a happy moment for me. I'm always in awe of how you take things in stride and you don't ever let anything hold you back. You keep trying to progress even in the face of hardship. It's like this little old saying that I heard, Okuna Matata. <laughs> it means don't worry, because eventually, even if it doesn't work out now, it'll find its way to become better. Yeah. I think it's also important to recognize that a huge part of the reason why it gets better is not because of the situation just being the same. It's because you are changing your situation. You make the moves necessary, and you do what you need to do for yourself, but also everyone else in your life. What kind of advice would you give to teens who are currently in foster care or just, you know, kind of in a tough spot? One thing that a lot of people need is a mentor. If you feel like you're struggling, find somebody to talk to. Because if you just keep everything in and you just let it all build up, you're liable to actually explode. And you might explode at the wrong time mm -hmm. or you might explode in the wrong way. So I always say talk to somebody. I'm happy I found you to talk to. I'm not the same person I was from when I first came to the door to now. How are you different? Going through all my obstacles, it built me into something stronger. I'm more mature. I'm more confident. I love me as a person. I love my flaws, and I love the person that I'm growing to be. Even from coming from foster care, I feel like I grew, and I have to thank you for it. You are definitely a strong, amazing, badass lady. You're going to do things, and you already are. Oh, thank you. I want to make history.